Senator Kevin Abard. I'm in support of HB 455. The price of innocence is too high. Since the death penalty was reinstated in the United States in 1973, for every 10 people who have been executed across the country, one person has been exonerated. To date, over 160 people have been released from death row for a variety of reasons, ranging from mishandled or withheld evidence, faulty eyewitnesses identification, junk science, lying jailhouse snitches, and inadequate legal representation. There are two death row exonerees present in this chamber today. Innocent men who lost their freedom for nearly being killed for something that they did not do. The fact is that no one in the state of New Hampshire has been executed since 1939. This begs the question whether something so rarely used is needed in our state. I've reached the point that there is no argument that can be ma made in favor for capital punishment because innocent people could potentially be killed. I personally interviewed a number of individuals who have been in death row. And by the grace of God, somebody believed in them and went to bat for them. They could have been executed. I'm asking you to support this bill. I have been a lifelong death penalty advocate. But when the truth comes forward, you can't ignore the fact that our system is flawed. We are humans and we do get it wrong. DNA gets it wrong. Just recently, 4,000 pieces of DNA evidence has been thrown out in Massachusetts because somebody tampered with it. Somebody pretended to be an expert. Think about it. If somebody was on death row and they used that evidence wrongfully, is that the right price that we can pay for this justice system? If we get it wrong, somebody gets murdered at the taxpayer's expense. Innocent blood is not part of our justice system. It is not a deterrent. When a murderer wants to murder, they murder, regardless. I'm asking you to support this bill. You have a, a written testimony uh, that I've given to you, and I, I ask you again, support the bill. Uh, there are better ways of, of, of dealing with this issue. Thank you. Thank you.